to talk about a positive and a negative reality as to who your your friend group should be and who it is. And if you're with friends who are just up to trouble and really like getting into trouble and you're not that type of person and you're riding around with them and they make a mistake and they break the law, you're with them. Mm -hmm. And it means you're breaking the law. And one of your friends could mess it up for the entire group. And the reality of that is if you go and do something like breaking the law, you could end up behind bars for a long time for something you didn't do, but you were just associated with that person or with that group of people. Doesn't mean you're a bad person or anything like that. That's just the reality of a negative peer group. If you choose to surround yourself with that now a positive a positive peer group is constantly going to teach you something i hear i've heard this saying if you're the smartest person in your group it's time to find a new group you know you want to surround yourself with people who are smarter than you and who are challenging you in beneficial ways to help you grow to help you be more to help you tap into that potential that lives within you and you just need to figure out where that, where those genuine people are, you know, less is more. If you have one friend, but that friend is an actual true friend, you have more than having 10 different, 100 different, 1,000 different friends on social media that you call your friends who really just don't, may not want the best for you or could care less either way. And yeah, that's just my my thoughts and insights on it. Um, I know we haven't really heard from Dr. Michael Houston yet. I would really love to hear uh, your insight and your thoughts about what you've heard so far. You know, I, man, I think that the guys have key insight. I mean, they're so much further ahead with their wisdom and how they're applying it to their life. You know, they can pick and choose by their goals that they actually want. So I think that... Um, just from my own experience, um, I have, you know, I have a friend too that we were in the military together, and uh, he was a weightlifter and I was a runner, and we would compete against each other. We'd get up in the morning and we go run, run the duck pond, and then we go to the gym, and that was like twenty plus years ago, and so today we're not doing that, obviously, but we're still competing against each other for success. He's a, he's an attorney. And he's doing multiple cases and I'm doing, you know, other things as well. And we're trying to outdo each other in a competitive way. This is 20 plus years later. So I think that you guys are picking your friends and going into the fields that you're going. Continue to do that. I, I, that's that's amazing. It's, it's right. amazing. Right. And. You know, another thing that I've learned too is that you, your network is your net worth. You know, people that, that you start to build a network with, you are really uh, growing with them financially as they grow too. I know life isn't all about money, but I mean, it's, it's pretty important for us to establish some financial security. So as you gentlemen, as you get older, you know, you're going to realize too that I know you already realize now that, uh, it is important to surround yourself with people who are doing more than you are. That way you're constantly raising the bar and having people raise the bar for you. And there's always something to strive for. So I think you guys are really on the right path. And, uh, you know, let me know more about, about how you feel about choosing your peers wisely and what else it means. Um, it's, it's just like you said, with the net worth I like that. Cause, um, Network that that's the one good thing about because I used to play football. I played tackle football for a really long time. Played for three years. Was going on four, and finally, when we had our last banquet, I, t I told my coach. I told my coaches, I I'm, I'm quitting the team. They weren't too keen on that mm -hmm. because I was going there to release my anger on my friends. I would have a bad day at school, and I would sit there and say, "Well, I have practice. I can go run over some people." Mm. And that was not the right way to approach that. When I started playing golf, I'm, I've met 
more people playing golf for the time that I have than I played football. Then basically since ever since I played football, because golf, it, it allows you to build up your net worth and it allows you to build up, build your network mm -hmm. with a lot of important people. A lot of, a lot of the CEOs and stuff, they play golf. Mm. So if you go, if, if you go and play at, we'll say Monterey, if, if you go and play at Pebble Beach up there, you, you might see somebody like Steve Jobs playing up there and he might say, well, w would you like to come see this or that and the other? You never know what will happen. That's why it's good to build up your network with good people rather than sticking with a peer group that, it's like you said, could get you in trouble. You could go to jail. You don't want to have to go to jail for that peer group. Exactly.